The city is getting more aggressive going after landlords they say aren't doing enough for their tenants. For weeks, we've been telling you about problems at the Williamsburg of Cincinnati apartments. Well, tonight, another property owner that city leaders say is negligent in putting tenants at risk. Okay. This is where we eat. This is the kitchen. Khadidra Burris giving us a tour of her Price Hill apartment on Mans Avenue. She lives here with her five kids, ranging from one to ten. I haven't been up here since the end of October when it totally started to get cold. On this day, late December, it was 56 degrees on the top floor. Improvement from days earlier when temperatures dropped dangerously low Christmas weekend. It was down to 17, 16 degrees when it was in negatives. Yeah. Inside. Inside. Burris says her heat went out around Halloween. Several weeks later, maintenance restored heat to the first floor where they sleep, but not the top floor. While she waited for repairs, ice cold. Burris says they stopped getting hot water. Most of the time, I don't even get a uh, answer. I left mail. I left pieces of mail there. I went out there personally, left mail in the door. I've called, left voicemails. Um, it's very hard to get in contact with them. She was proactive and called city inspectors and followed up. They issued orders for the landlord to address the problems. We called OHAD Investment Group on December 27th. Its website describes the company as a real estate investment and asset management group. OIG. Hello, this is Jatera McGee. I'm calling with WWT News 5. The same day we started asking questions, the company sent a repair crew to Burris' apartment. I knew why they, they, that they came out here because you guys. They fixed her hot water the same yeah. day and said they'd be back to fix the heat. And I've been waiting since Thanksgiving. The founder of OIG is Avi Ohat. He's now on the city of Cincinnati's list of negligent property owners, but not for anything he did or didn't do at Burris' place. Court records say Ohad failed to complete with city orders to restore heat to tenants at 1027 Ross Avenue in West Price Hill in January 2022. He was charged with failure to comply with lawful orders. Last week, he pleaded no contest and got a suspended sentence of 180 days in jail, a fine, and 10 months probation. OHAD's attorney tells WLWT this case arose due to a boiler failing on the property. Due to supply chain issues, obtaining a new boiler heating system was difficult. Overall, an excess of $150,000 was invested to improve the property. The property is now in full compliance with the Cincinnati Municipal Code. The city just filed this 59-page complaint against H&E Enterprise LLC, another one of OHAD's business entities. The complaint says a substantial portion of defendant Avi OHAD's properties are residential rental housing that are not maintained and have substandard conditions. And the city is filing action against OHAD to end his predatory business business model and to ensure the health, safety and welfare of the residents of Cincinnati. Tenants like Burris are eager for help. Now, the complaint says the city is taking action to obtain injunctive relief and to enforce violations of building health and safety codes. The city says it intends to take further action against other landlords as well. Jatera McGee, WLWT News.